there is something which I've consistently stated on this platform. And allow me to refresh your minds again in case you've forgotten. I've stated severally that around President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, there are four camps. The first camp believes that President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta should actually support Raila Amolodinga for the presidency in 2022. That camp believes that Raila Odinga has a better chance of succeeding the president. That's where President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta is. Then there's the second camp around the president. And this camp believes that a compromise candidate should be supported. They believe that Raila Odinga cannot be elected, especially in the larger Mount Kenya region. And therefore, the president should convince Raila Odinga not to run, but instead support a compromise candidate. This is the camp which is pushing for Musalia Mudavadi's presidential bid in 2022. And then there's the third camp. This camp believes that the next president of the Republic of Kenya should actually come from within the government. And this is the camp which is pushing for Fred Okengo Matiangi and Mutai Kagwe's ticket. I want us to talk about Fred Matiangi and his bid because from all indications, Matiangi is likely to go for the presidency. And then there's the fourth camp, which has been subdued around the president. But this fourth camp believes that President Ru Kenyatta should actually reconcile with his deputy and support his deputy in 2022. This is the camp which is behind the talks which were being initiated by the church. So we have those four camps. But today I want us to look at Fred Okengo Matiangi factor in 2022 and how Fred Matiangi's entry into 2022 presidential election is likely to affect Raila Amolo Odinga. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue to thank you guys for your continued support. Now, let us get back to the main issue. President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, in 2019, through executive order number one, made Fred Okengo Matiangi the supervisor of all cabinet secretaries in this country. That move by the president effectively made Fred Matiangi the prime minister of the Republic of Kenya in quotes. It gave Fred Matiangi the limelight. And from that moment, so many Kenyans started speculating that Fred Okeng Matiangi was being prepared for the presidency in 2022. But at some point, Fred Okeng Matiangi really made some mistakes. And he went under. But how will Fred Okeng Matiangi's bid for the presidency affect Raila Amolodinga? First of all, let us, let us try to understand why Fred Okengo Matiang is actually being pushed to run for the presidency or why he plans to run for the presidency. Number one is the compromise candidate factor. There are people in this country who believe that Ruto should not be the president, Raila should not be president. And therefore, a compromise candidate should actually be found. And that compromise candidate can easily be Fred Okengo Matiang because they believe Raila Odinga can easily support Matiang for the presidency. Uhuru Kenyatta will easily support Matiang and the fact that Matiangi is not a politician per se. So that compromise factor. Then the second reason is actually service delivery. If you look at the cabinet today, one of the outstanding individuals who has performed is Fred Okengo Matiangi. And that's why in Tangatanga, he's their pet subject because he has really delivered. When he was the minister for um, education, he delivered. Interior, Fred Matiangi is delivering. When he was the minister for ICT, he delivered. So the truth is, because of service delivery, these people pushing for Matiangi believes that it can be easily sold to the country. Number three is the acceptability. Fred Matiangi can be easily accepted, although most people believe that it's also very difficult to accept Matiangi based on the, the, the way he approaches politics. But the fact that Ruto and Raila are divisive the Kenyans would easily accept Fred Okengo Matiangi. And lastly, is the runoff. There are people who are keen on a runoff. 
And these people who are keen on runoff, they want to make sure that Red Odinga becomes number three during the runoff. They believe that if Kalonzo is running, if if Kalonzo is running, if Matiang is running, if Mudavad is running, if Raila is running, and Ruto is running, none of them is going to get 50 plus 1 percent. So runoff is going to be inevitable. And because runoff is going to be inevitable, they want to try and pull any support from Raila Morodinga. So that in Nyanza, they pull out Kisi. They go to the coast through Amazon Kingi, they pull off of those. And they are comfortable as long as those votes are not going to William Samai Ruto. Because they believe if those votes will not go to, Raila, to William Ruto, and they are not going to Raila Odinga, these other pa parties will split them. And if Musalem Devadi can be sold to the people of the larger Mount Kenya region, then Mudavadi can easily become number two. And if Mudavadi becomes number two, or even Kalonzo becomes number two, then Raila Odinga will definitely support one of them during the runoff. So there are people who are pushing for Matiangi, not for any other reason, but to engineer or to occasion a runoff. But how will Fred Matiangi's entry into politics affect Raila Amor Odinga? Number one, it will isolate Raila Molodinga further. If there's one thing Raila Odinga has been keen on, is the Kisi region. Raila Odinga believes that Nyanza as a region should, for the first time, vote as a bloc. And you remember those who follow this channel that when Fredo Kingo Matiangi ventured into the, the by-election in Kisi, Bonchari, I opined that Fredo Kingo Matiangi probably had his objectives, and one of the objectives he wanted to achieve was to come out as the Gusi leader. But because he was defeated, Fredo Kengo Matiangi disappeared from the political scene. And also those who have been following the politics, Raila Mulodinga has also been trying to elevate the status of the Kisi governor, Governor Ngwai. If you've been following Raila Odinga, in all the events he has been attending lately, one constant figure is always there, that's James Ongwai. So, which means Raila Odinga also understand that there are people who are trying to isolate him, kiss from him. Because look at it. In Western, Mudavadi, in Ukambani, Kalonzo, coast, there is Kingi. Nyanza, now we have Fredo Kingo Matiangi. So, basically, someone is out to isolate Raila Amorodinga. So that Raila Odinga will appear as a one-man show. And of course, I've been told, this I was told maybe last week, about this particular move that actually Fred Matiangi has approached ODM that is forming a political party, and that party is not going to rival ODM party. That the party will just be interested in pursuing its agenda, but will support the ODM and their presidential candidate. So, the idea here is to isolate Raila Odinga. Number two, how it's going to affect Raila Odinga is the number of members of parliament, senators, MPs. The truth, members of parliament, senators, women rep, governors, and MCS. The truth of the matter is that in 2017, ODM never won a single seat in Gusi in parliament. But they managed to win through a by-election recently. Most of those people who won in Kisi were in ODM. They were denied the ticket. Then they managed to come through using these other small parties which were supporting Raila Odinga. So this time around, Raila Odinga has been trying so hard to ensure that in Kisi he has members of parliament. Now if Matiangi is going to sponsor his own political party, even if he's also going to run for the presidency, I am certain he will definitely get one, two, or three. MPs. That would affect Raila Amolo Odinga. So Raila Odinga and his brigades must work way around on how they are going to deal with the possibility of Raila Kengu Matiangi denying them, let's say, the governor for Nyamira or let's say, an MC from Area A or Area B. Number three is the deep state. There's a perception in this country that you cannot become the president of the Republic of Kenya without the support of the deep state. Kimemi has stated it clearly. And the fact that Matiangi is now running, a perception is going to be created that he's the system's or the deep state's candidate. 
that is going to play psychological warfare in the minds of Raila Odinga supporters. Raila Odinga supporters are just waiting for one thing. Signals from Muru Kenyatta that he's going to support Raila Odinga. Matiangi is the cabinet secretary for interior. Very powerful docket. Which means that he will be able to do certain things if he's running for the presidency. And of course by that time he shall have, re I mean, he shall have uh, retired. But the truth is he will still have that influence. And politics is a game of perception. The fact that he will be running, Raila will be running, the perception outside there would be that President Ruki Nyata is not keen on Raila Molodinga and therefore the deep state is not with him. Number four is what I call the undecided votes. There are people who are in this country who are tired with the current politicians. So they'd rather have a fresh start. So these are the people who are saying that let us have, let us try someone else. Let us try Matiangi because Matiangi has not been in politics. He's, he's just been serving as a minister so well. So let us try Fred Okengo Matiangi. And be, because these undecided voters from Kisi, for example, if they were convinced really, they would have gone to Raila Amolodinga. And now Matiangi is here. They are now going with Matiangi. That will affect Raila Amolodinga. And number five, it's the Nyanza block, slightly related to the move to isolate Raila. But Raila Odinga would have wanted a situation this time around where Nyanza speaks with one voice. Kisi voting ODM, Lu Nyanza voting ODM, Korea. So that he can start with that block. Now, the entry of Matiangi will now complicate that. It will mean that Raila Odinga will now, first of all, try to consolidate Kisi. Because if Matiangi was with him, the fact is, if Matiangi was with Raila, or going with Raila, it would have been easy for them. So that's going to affect him also. And lastly, which in my view is the biggest deal, is their attempts to weaken Raila Molodinga at the negotiating table. The truth of the matter is that politics is played on a table. At the end of the day, these guys will be moving around the country but people will sit down. If Matiangi was going to will be given an opportunity to sit on that table, he will be re representing the interest of the Kisi, not the interest of Raila Molodinga. So it means when people will be voting, for example, during those meetings, there's a chance that Matiangi might even not vote in favor of Raila Molodinga. So those are, in my view, the reasons why I strongly believe that Fred Matiangi's entry into 2022 general election is actually complicating the equation for Raila Amolo Odinga. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Again, for those watching this channel for the first time, take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.